Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to create a quiz in WebWork. So you see I've just logged into my course. I'm going to head over to the Homework Sets Editor. Now, creating a quiz is just like creating a homework set. Click on the Create tab and name your new set. Let's just call it Quiz and we're going to create it as an empty set. You can see here the results. We, we successfully created our quiz and if we scroll down we should find quiz in our list of problem sets. Go ahead and click on the zero here. Zero just means that we don't have any problems in the set yet. Now, this is the usual setup for a homework, uh, homework set. You want to say when does it open, when does it do, and when can students see the answers. If we change the assignment type to quiz, gateway quiz, and save our changes, you'll see that we receive a whole bunch of new options. Now, um, of those new options, how long do you want students to have in taking their test? If it's a quiz, maybe you only want them to have 10 minutes. If it's an exam, an hour and 40 minutes, well, we have to do it all in minutes, so that would be 100 minutes. Um, do you want to cap the test time at the close date? Now. This is a question for how you want to set up the quiz. If you give students 30 minutes to take the quiz, even though it's only 10 minutes long, um, you know maybe a student procrastinates or, or, or they aren't paying attention and they, they try to take the quiz at the very end of the window that you've set up for taking the quiz, do you want to cut them off or do you want to let them have all 10 minutes? So if we leave this at no, no matter when the student starts, even if they start late, they'll get 10 minutes to finish their quiz. If we cut it off, a student who stay, uh, starts late, they'll get cut off at whatever our close date is. Okay, the next one, how many graded submissions do you want students to receive? Um, if a student submits their quiz, do you want it to be graded and do you want them to have a chance to fix their mistakes? If so, you might want to give them two attempts. Uh, otherwise, the default should be uh, should be one here. The student takes the quiz and that's it. They get their score, they're done. If you want to give them another shot, maybe set this to two. You could set it higher if you like. Now I'm going to skip the time interval for new test versions and I'm going to, going to talk about the number of tests per time interval. This allows students to receive a new randomization of your quiz or test. If you set this to one, students will only receive one version of the test and that's it. If you want students to maybe retake the test, if they don't like their grade, they retake it uh, and get all new randomizations, you can set this to be higher. You can say, I want students to have two or five or ten attempts at taking the test. Um, or you could just say one. The student only gets one shot and that's it. If you change the time interval now, we set the time interval to be 24 hours then that means that a student will be able to receive a new randomization of the test once every 24 hours and they'll get two shots at submitting correct answers for that test. Now this only makes sense if we set our open and close dates for this exam to be longer than 24 hours. For example, if I open this exam now and I give students let's say three days to do it then that means a student who takes the exam on the first day will also be able to take a new version the second day and maybe even a third on the third day but if a student waits until the end of this window they'll only get the one shot okay now, do we want to randomize the problems? Yes or no. It doesn't really matter so much, especially if you put all the problems on one page. I like doing this. This means students can jump back and forth between the problems fairly easily, and uh, they, they have all the problems on the same page. 
Now these last two have to do with whether or not students can see their scores. Do they see a score for the entire test only or do they see individual problems what their score is on each problem. Do I know that I got problem one right and problem two wrong? Well then if I get another attempt at submitting my answers I know I should probably fix my answers for problem two and not for problem one. Um, do I allow the students to review, review the problems on a test that they've already completed? Now this makes sense if students are able to do more than one uh, randomization then do you want them to be able to review the test that they already took in order to prepare for the next version that they take? Yes, no. If you only let students review the problems after the answer date, well, then they're not going to be able to review the problems when they retake the exam. This is up to you. Um, I'm going to set both of these to yes for now and save my changes.